Okay, hello everyone. This is uh, Wario for another video. Now you might be wondering why are we wearing suits and ties? Well, uh, I'll get to that in a second. So we're making a video because it's not exactly that we were forced to make the video, but I think it's a good idea to get the idea out there. So uh, yeah, you might remember, we get what they're doing. We get why they're doing it. YouTube is just trying to follow the laws and regulations. So they're just trying to comply with the laws. I understand. But what the mistake they're making is that they're pushing this out to the creators when really it's, they should be the ones trying to comply with the laws. It's not really the creator's fault because they really did nothing wrong. They're just making their content and putting it up. And YouTube is, the, YouTube is what decides whether it is kid-friendly or not. Even though sometimes the creator would be up to that, if they had to manually age-restrict the video, then that is totally the creator's fault if they don't, because then YouTube has the right to demonetize and take the video down. But going to such an extent as to, you know, take down the entire channel just because maybe one video is out of place and the rest of them are a certain theme or whatever, that seems kind of wrong. And, uh, I'll give this to them because YouTube, they didn't plan on doing this, but they have to to comply with the laws. So I'll give them that. But still, if, if a video is just not suitable for kids and the rest of the channel is, why don't they just take down the responsible video instead of, you know, having the entire channel taken down because of one thing that's messing it up. So, I think that's a pretty bad thing, is that, you know, if they're, if they're gonna pass this, think about, like, all the YouTubers that are gonna be taken down, and for all the kid-friendly content that is up there, all that's gonna be gone, too. And we don't want that happening. We don't want any content out there to be destroyed unless it is falsely, you know, claimed to be for kids when it's actually adult content. In that case, they should just either demonetize the video or take it down completely, but not the whole channel. So, that, that's, that's kind of what it should do. But instead, they're deciding if the channel is rated as kid-friendly, but one video breaks that, they would take down the whole channel and possibly find the creator. I think that's just going too far there. But still, I get why they're doing it. I really cannot argue against the fact that YouTube's just trying to comply with the law. It's... They're being reasonable. But still, at the same time, they're being unreasonable. Because they're, they're pushing this upon the creators. And we did nothing to deserve this. So, YouTube, you gotta take responsibility for your own actions. It's, it's just the truth, we can't go against it. So that, that's basically all I gotta say. I'll pass it over to Homer, he'll be an expert at saying stuff. I'm pretty sure I've done well. But Homer, you, you now can take it away. Ugh, okay. So, uh, this is Homer. And Frank just discussed, like, why. Why are they doing this? And how it is understandable why. And, uh, I agree with him on the matter. That, you know, YouTube is doing this to comply with the laws. You know, internet safety is very important. And if, if it is violated, that can result in huge fines. And, uh, obviously, YouTube is a multi-billion dollar company. And if they're, if they're a bad company, they can literally go bankrupt just because they're a bad company. So, internet safety is very important. Completely understandable why they are taking it so seriously. And, yes. So, we get... So we get what they're doing, but here is my biggest question. Why does it have to be such such a huge thing that they had to rate the entire channel as kid-friendly or not instead of automatically like rating each individual video towards a specific age range or audience or whatever, like they're doing right now. Some videos could be age-restricted, and personally I think that's fine, so if there are young people on YouTube, then those age-restricted videos will not show up for those young people. So that, that's, that's a good idea there. They should just age-restrict videos 
that are not for kids. So that so that way they won't they won't see those age restricted videos that are not meant for them. I personally think that's a good idea in place of what they're doing. What they're doing is they want the entire channel to be rated as either for kids or not for kids. And that, that's creating a huge problem because they were a little bit vague on the details. They did not specify what type of content is for kids. They, they made a few, few descriptions, but they really did not get specific enough. Very vague and I cannot, I just cannot argue enough. Because they're basically saying kid, con kid friendly content would include things like animations and stuff. Even though some of anime, some animations can have blood and gore, and obviously, they would mistake it for kid-friendly content when actually it's not. So really, they're just bringing this upon themselves. And I think it's a big issue to discuss because a lot of people, almost every YouTuber out there, lots of creators are being affected by this problem. Now, relating back to Article 13, which had to do with copyright. It was based on, you know, gameplay and stuff and copyright content in Europe to be taken down because it violates the rights of others. Now, I really don't think that is true because games are actually meant to be promoted on YouTube, so gameplay videos, really, they should not get copyrighted. I personally think it's fine to do something like that. But Article 13 did threaten to take down gaming videos, and that's, that is kind of not really what they should do. They should take down copied videos or videos with copyrighted music or you know what they just like they do with our videos if the music happens to be copyrighted they should give all monetization of the video to the owner of the song and if it happens to be multiple copyright songs then the money goes to any own any song artist that has a song in the video. However, the creator of the video won't make any money off of it. But that that's what they should stick with. So personally, as of 2018, YouTube was perfectly fine, but then they started making more regulations that is restricting the range of content that could be made. And that, that really closes in on itself because eventually people are going to stop making videos altogether and YouTube is just going to disappear into the void. And that, that I think is a little bit extreme. It might be a hyperbole because maybe that's not how it will go because you know they I I am expecting they're gonna keep doing absurd things like this, which will in turn get rid of even more videos and channels. So eventually so it's not gonna just all collapse on itself immediately, but videos might just slowly keep going away. And YouTube has been growing for quite a while now. But this could put a stop to the growing or even get rid of YouTube altogether. So, we are really encouraging you guys all out there, everyone in the comments, since the uh, FTC is opening, open for tweets, don't hate on them, please, because that's bad. If you hate on them, then obviously this won't be taken seriously, and we need this to be taken seriously because it's a serious matter to discuss. But what you should do, what you should do is tell them why this is a bad idea and, and you should politely say that they shouldn't do this because blah 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 everything I've explained because it, it could just collapse on itself and the creators are not responsible for this, however they are being held responsible even though they had nothing to do with such matters. So YouTube has to take responsibility for what they do. And if it is their responsibility, they can't just blow it off and hand it down to the creators and say, it's your fault, creators. You have to deal with this. Because really, it's their fault. And they should be the ones dealing with this, not us. And that's exactly what we have to do now because what they're doing is pushing this law upon us. And we have until January 2020 to decide whether channels are kid-friendly or not. Of course, this can still be reversed within a month and a half that we have left. But still, this, this needs to get promoted, so any creators out there,
please make videos related to this topic. We need the word to be spread. And obviously, if this word doesn't get spread, this could mean the end of YouTube, and this could mean the end of a lot of creators out there. There are millions and millions of people on YouTube who are literally going to lose their jobs and go bankrupt just because of this. Now, would I really want that to happen? No, I would not. And I'm pretty sure nobody else wants this either. Not even the FTC. And I'm pretty sure they have no intention for it, but this is what it could do. So we are really asking, please find a way around this. Obviously YouTube's regulations, if they could just be responsible for what people put, well, well, we're responsible for what we put up, but they should be responsible for knowing whether the content should be dedicated or targeted to kid audiences or not. So really, if it's their responsibility, they should handle it, not us. However, that's exactly what's had to happen. We've had to handle their fault. And obviously that is not what's supposed to happen. That is not how the system works. If, if something is the creator's fault, obviously the creator would be blamed for it and the video could be demonetized, age restricted, or taken down completely. But if it's YouTube's fault, YouTube has to deal with this as a company. It's not the creators that are behind this. It's YouTube. So we're just asking YouTube, please, if this, if this is not our fault, then it shouldn't be pushed upon us. But that's what they're doing. So I'll just leave it to Wario because he will wrap everything up. <sighs> Wario, it's time for you to summarize everything. So that's really all I've got. And hopefully YouTube does not destroy themselves. And this, this huge issue is going to affect a lot of creators, if not all. And obviously there will be, there will be certain channels out there like, family-friendly channels have less of a chance of being affected, and small channels, obviously, they won't be affected as much, especially if they don't have monetization enabled. So, yes. Obviously, we, we definitely don't want this being passed, because it's not, it's not we're trying to, like, defend ourselves upon this. We're trying to defend YouTube as a whole. Like, we're not just trying to get out of our... We're not just trying to get ourselves out of this issue. We are trying to make it so it doesn't even happen and millions of creators can stay on YouTube and continue making videos. Because if this, if this actually gets passed, they're not going to make videos because they know that if they make videos and this thing is passed, their channels are going to go goodbye as soon as they make a video. So we, are, we have to discuss this before it gets too close to 2020 and we're literally a month and a half away. Time is running out to fix this. And we, we can't have this happening to YouTube. And if it does happen, then I don't know what to say. So please, 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 please just get the point across. Make YouTube great again. Obviously, it was fine when they age-restricted videos that were not meant for kids or anything like that. If they were not family-friendly, just age-restricted video. It's simple as that. And YouTube doesn't have to do all of that automatically. If a creator knows that the video is not made for kids just put some age restriction on the video it's not that hard so that's really all i've got to say we are hoping for the best that youtube really doesn't take themselves down just because of this because if they if they take creators down over something like this they're actually destroying themselves so hopefully the point gets across and uh that's all we have to say please if you're a creator yourself, you need to discuss about this topic, tell lots of people, get everyone to know about this issue. Because if it stands, then you know what's gonna happen. So that's all I gotta say. I'm, I've gone on for a whole half of an hour. I really cannot talk about this anymore. So that's, that's, really, all, that's really all there is. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand why we made this video and what we have to do about YouTube possibly destroying themselves so that's all i gotta say thank you and have a good night